saw the double team coming. And he is a tough shot maker. Yeah, Kyrie Irving does it again, but this time he had a little help. And fortunately, the patient didn't have enough help. Another, well, another rough quarter, and here we are now as the Celtics take a 3 death in the series lead. Guess what, everybody? No one has ever come back from a 3-0 deficit in the NBA playoffs. Oh, hi. Good evening. We're going to try to put a nice face on this, so maybe look ahead to, to next season. Uh, I'm Dave First. The legendary Scott Pollard, former Pacer, former Celtic champion uh, with the Boston Celtics. But look at this oh, jacket, ladies and gentlemen. Where at? Oh, Celtics is Celtic a, right there. I played for both those teams. And but gold don't quit. Gold don't quit. That's, that's well, maybe one quarter every game. But otherwise, <laughs> one quarter, maybe a half they, of one game. But they don't quit. Uh, they don't. Where do we begin uh, with this? It's almost same song, same verse for this team right now, you know? I, unfortunately, the naysayers have been correct, and I'm one of them. I apologize. But uh, uh, the, when when you have a team that doesn't have superstars, it's hard to advance in the playoffs. You get to exposed for your weaknesses. And the weaknesses for the Pacers have been they don't have one guy that's going to guarantee them 30 points. They don't have another guy that's going to them, guarantee them yeah. 30 points. So when you don't have that, you have to rely on team effort from minute one to minute 48 and the Pacers have had those lapses as we just discussed so when you have that problem yeah, and you don't have the talent to overcome it like that Kyrie shot there Pacers don't have a guy right now that's going to hit those shots they're losing by just enough right. but if they had somebody to hit those big shots they might be pulling these games what, out what, who are you talking about oh this guy that <laughs> maybe had some weather issues and didn't make his flight tonight <laughs> but he's not playing anyway and they knew that going into it so it's not like it's a surprise but uh, you got to have a superstar and you got to have the other guy. Right. And Pacers don't have either one of those two guys uh, at all on this roster. So uh, they, they've got to be perfect otherwise, and, and that's a big order for a bunch of role players out here. 